house and we are going to be making some DIY memorial baubles for Christmas trees. So I don't know if you've heard the phrase, when a feather is here, a loved one is near. Um, but that is what made me think about these. And what you need is some ink, some little stamps, um, some feathers, a bauble, this is a glass heart one, um, and some scissors. You can get round ones as well. The important thing is that they actually come apart. So that's what you really want to, to see, that they come apart. And you can get plastic ones as well if you've got young children. So first of all, we're going to stamp our feathers. So we want to take our pigment ink and feather and we're going to stamp onto it. Um, it can be a little tricky at first to kind of balance what you wanted to say. Um, so should we do one that says mum or dad? Um, so let's do dad. So we want a D and an A and another D. But I've only got one D. So we're going to stamp this singularly. If the word you want, you had... Um, Basically, if you had all the letters, then you could put it together and wrap an elastic band around it, which would make it really simple. So we're going to take it, we're just going to press it, and we're just going to test it on our thing. And we know that the sort of pressure we want to put on. And then we sort of know whereabouts we want to put it on our feather. So I'm using pigment ink, um, so it should last. That Ah. Then we want to take our our bobble and kind of work out the length of feather because obviously this is going to be too long. So we want to cut it. Now you can cut into the top, that's not a problem at all. So I am going to cut my feather. Oops, around. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it in a feather sort of shape so that the it will shape itself and then we want to pop it in um, now you really also could probably do with some tweezers at this point because you don't want to shove it in and break your feather so we're going to pop it in upside down and then we're going to use our tweezers to turn it round whoops and this is where it can be a little bit tricky and I don't think I've cut that short enough so I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to cut it a bit more so and I'm going to try again And it's just a matter of trial and error. So I've got it in. Now I want to turn it around. So there we can see that it says dad and then I'm just going to pop the lid on and over on our blog we have some free printables to attach that say when an angel, when a feather appears an angel is near. So let me just do that and there we go. We have, I don't think how clear you can see it, 